Hi, I'm Nick Brummel with Caterpillar Preventive Maintenance. Today we're going to pull, pull an oil sample from the dipstick tube. Always wipe off the dipstick tube first before you pull the dipstick to prevent any debris from going in. And at the same time, clean the dipstick as you're pulling it out. We aren't checking the oil right now and we don't want any other contamination falling into the engine. Next, we'll open up our oil sample. and remove our oil sample bottle. I'm just loosening the lid. I'm not going to open it all the way up yet. The next thing we'll do is make sure that our oil sample gun is clean in the seal area, as is both ends of the tube. You insert the tube to where it's about a half inch to an inch below the surface of the oil sample gun. Then. We screw the oil sample bottle onto the gun. By putting that tube lower than the top of the gun, we, we eliminate the risk of cross-contamination when we pull the next sample. Then we'll feed the sample tube down through the dipstick tube, and then we'll draw our sample. Your engine should have already been warmed up by now. and the oil will pull in rather stiff, depending on what weight oil you're using. Now, when you're done pulling your sample, always lift the tube out just a little ways and give it a little, another little pump or two to make sure that you clean out the tube. Then, we'll unscrew the sample from the oil sample gun and put the lid on. The next step then, of course, is to remove the tube, making sure again that we keep everything clean. And then finally, reinstall the dipstick. For more information, please contact your local Caterpillar dealer.